aligning large language models with human preferences is key for the quality of that LLM. There are various techniques which have evolved over the years to align these LLMs. One of the most popular ones was reinforcement learning from human feedback. But recently, there have been three to four, and yet that list is growing, three to four uh, options which are very rapidly replacing this RLHF. In this video, I am going to introduce you to four of them. First and foremost, the methodology which is becoming very promising is and leading the pack is called as direct preference optimization or DPO. And you can see on your screen the difference between RLHF and DPO. And this screenshot is from their paper. So if you look at this diagram, um, this DPO has really become a good alternative for aligning these LLMs to human or AI preferences. Unlike traditional alignment methods which are based on reinforcement learning, DPO recasts the alignment formulation as a simple loss function that can be optimized directly on a data set of preferences. If you look on the left hand side, you will see that there are two preference data. One is YW. YW and Y1 are the preferred and dispreferred responses, whereas uh, the X at the top is our prompt. So this makes DPO simple to use in practice and already it is being used by a lot of models such as Intel's Neural Chat and also Zephyr. Now this is one technique of doing it which removes this reward model and makes it very simple loss function as I said. The second technique is um, trying to overcome one shortcoming of DPO, let me explain. So one shortcoming of DPO is that it tends to quickly overfit on the preference data set. To avoid this, Google DeepMind has introduced this identity preference optimization or IPO, which adds a regularization term to the DPO loss and enables one to train models to convergence without requiring tricks like early stopping. And that has improved it a lot. Another technique which is um, becoming quite popular and it also tries to overcome one more deficiency of DPO is called as um, uh, this KTO or Kahneman Tversky optimization. So what happens here is that like most alignment methods, DPO requires a data set of paired preferences. I just described YW and Y1 where annotators label um, which response is better according to a set of criteria like helpfulness or harmfulness. In practice, creating this data set is time consuming and costly endeavor. That is where contextual is, uh, AI has come up with this Kahneman Tversky or KTO method, which defines the loss function entirely in terms of individual examples that have been labeled as good or bad. These labels are much easier to acquire in practice and KTO is a promising way to continually update chat models running in production environment. Next method is called as pairwise cringe loss. Now this is yet another interesting method. Pairwise cringe loss for training language models with pairwise preferences. In this uh, method they have showed that the approach outperforms its binary feedback counterpart, the cringe loss, and importantly also outperforms competing state-of-the-art preference optimization algorithms, both PPO and DPO. Their method is efficient and simple to implement and they expect it can be applied to a wide range of problems. I haven't really looked into this uh, more detail but it seems very promising to me. But so far, anyway, if you want to use one alignment method for the LLM, at this point I would highly suggest that you go with DPO. It's simple to implement and it has it is not only either on par with the other methods or have beaten them and seems quite promising and I have played with Zephyr a lot and I can tell you first hand that this works and the quality is really good. That's it guys. Let me know your thoughts on them if you think if I have missed any or um, 
if you think that there should be something more added to it please share it in the comment as we are all learning together this and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much